Hey, it's me again. Today I gotta explain the map method in JavaScript. The map method accepts a callback and applies that function to each element of an array. It's very similar to the for each method. However, it returns a new array. That's a key difference. For example, let's create an array of constants. I'm picking constants just to demonstrate that we're not changing any elements in this array. We have const numbers. I'll select the numbers one through five to keep it simple. I will create a function to square each number. Function square. We have one parameter, we have an element. All I'm gonna do is return math.pow. This will raise a base to a given power. We are raising our element to the power of two, then returning it. We're gonna take our array of numbers, use the built-in map method, then pass in our function as a callback. The map method will return a new array. We will create a new array to store the values that are returned. So I will create const squares equals numbers dot map. And then let's display our squares. I'll use console.log for now. Console.log r squares. Here are all the numbers squared. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Let's create a function to cube these numbers now. We'll copy and paste our square function, but change it to cube. We'll raise our element to the power of three. Const cubes equals take our original array numbers dot use the map method, pass in a callback to the function we would like to use cube. Then we will console.log our array of cubes and we have some new numbers. 1, 8, 27, 64, 125. The map method is very similar to for each, but after completion, the map method returns a new array. We still have our original numbers, whereas in for each, we'll change them. That's a key difference. Let's go over a new example. We'll create an array of students. Const students equals, for my first student, I will pick SpongeBob, then Patrick, Squidward, Sandy. That's good enough. I will create a function to make all of these strings uppercase. Function uppercase. There is a single element. Remember the element is going to be provided for us with the map method. Element, index, and array. But we only need element in this case. I will return our element dot to uppercase method. And that's it. We'll create a new array. Students. What can we name this? Uh, students upper, I suppose. We will take our array of students, use the map method, pass in the function we would like to apply as a callback. Then I will console dot log students upper. Within my array, all of the students' names are all uppercase. Let's create a function for lowercase. Function lowercase to lowercase. I will create a new array. Const students lower equals the name of the array students dot map. Pass in our function as a callback. Then display the array of students lower. Now all of the names are now lowercase. All right, third example. This one is more practical. We'll create an array of dates. Const dates equals certain regions will order their dates differently. For example, you might have the year followed by a month, then a day. We're going to rearrange the order of these dates using the map method. So come up with a few dates. I picked 2024, January 10th, 2025, February 20th, 2026, March 30th. Feel free to rearrange these however you want. I will create a function to format dates. We have one parameter, a single element. Within this function, I will create a temporary array named parts. We're going to split each date into parts and store it within an array. 
within this function, const parts equals element dot split. We are going to split each element, but where? We are going to split at each dash. For example, with my first element, we'll split this date into 2024. That will be the first element, 1 and 10. Then we'll reformat these parts. I will return a template string. So I'm going to need some placeholders. So dollar sign curly braces. Let's take our array of parts at index of one. That will be the month. I live in the United States. We arrange our dates with month, then day, then year. I will place my month first. Forward slash. Let's include another placeholder. Parts at index of two, that will be the day of the month, slash parts at index zero, that will be the year. We will create a new array, const formatted dates equals take our original array dates, use the map method, then pass the function name as a callback. Then after, I will console.log our formatted dates. And here they are. For me, the dates are now January 10th, 2024, February 2nd, 2025, March 30th, 2026. Feel free to arrange these however you like. All right, everybody, that is the map method. It's very similar to the for each method. The map method accepts a callback and applies that function to each element of an array. However, it returns a new array when it's finished. That's nice if you need to preserve the original array that the elements came from. And well, everybody, that is the map method in JavaScript.